guys, this is Tina from Shabby Dabby Dude. Oh, welcome back to my channel. So if you saw my recent haul video, um, I had some Atlas Page and some other things that I said that we would come back and play with and make some bits and pieces. So I thought that we would use this beautiful vintage Atlas and make some collage pages. So I did kind of talk about it in the video where I showed my, my recent haul and said, you know, I don't generally use Atlas Pages that much. I often struggle with them. Um, you know, because of the colours and things, I find them quite hard to, to use. But yeah, I want to be brave and I want to kind of try and use some. So let's just tear out, you know, let's let's make a start with this, this centre page. I don't know whether I'm actually going to um, manage to use much more. And then I've brought along some genuine um, vintage ephemera. So this is, you know, authentic vintage ephemera. Uh, ephemera. And then I've got some book page. Um, and then I've got some other you know authentic um vintage book page here and then this is from that violin book which again you know was in that um vintage hall and then i've got some sheet music and things i'm going to try and keep things quite neutral sorry i'm just reaching down and getting the other vintage ephemera that i'd also brought along and now for some reason it's it's ended up behind my desk away from me so yeah let me just pull that in as well okay right so yeah let's kind of um see what we can come up with now i'm going to create the masterboard on a 12 for 12 scrapbook sheet um i've done this quite a bit recently or you know over the last few months because you know if you buy those 12 for 12 scrapbook pads i don't know about you guys but you always end up with you know one side that you much prefer to the other so for instance this one i've got this lovely neutral I think this is like script on here. It's very hard to see. It's very tiny. Um, and then we've got this side, which, you know, is just dark grey. I mean, there's nothing offensive about it. I could easily, you know, use this. But I thought, let's just use this, this side as the um, base for our collage. So, you know, when we cut it, we've got this on the reverse. So let's just get collaging up. It's a very thick page, this is couldn't really tell whether it was um you know just one piece it's so thick so yeah okay so i'm just going to get gluing this down yeah i just kind of struggled with the um atlas page i said i mean i've had another atlas which it was vintage but not quite so old i don't know how old the one is that i've got don't know whether it had a date on it and whether I can't remember or whether it had no date but yeah the one that I had um although it was vintage it was maybe from like the 70s or something like that and it had slightly glossier pages this one is you know I think much nicer because it's got um like dulled down pages but you know sometimes you can get sort of nicer ones than others really I find so yeah, I just haven't really used the one that I had that much. So, hey, if you don't use the one that you have, buy another one. <laughs> no. The one that I found that I then, re you know, that I bought a, like another different version, I found was or I felt was quite different um, because it had the matte sort of finished pages. So that's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. Honestly, anyone who's not a crafter would just be like, what's wrong with this woman? She's got some that she doesn't use and then she's been and bought more, you know, when she's not even used the stuff she had. Right, let's tear this down. Now, do you see, I'm straight away in a quandary because like this side, we've got these gorgeous colours, not a great deal of blue because there's not much sea on this side. This side, we've got obviously lots of blue, lots of sea. Um... Yeah, so I mean, straight away, I'm kind of like, oh, which side, which side? Perhaps I'll start with this side because, um, you know, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to use this side. I'm going to use these smaller bits. So maybe this would be easier to decide, you know. I'm going to tear down because I'm just not that keen on the straight edges. I mean, I see other people use straight edges all the time. They look lovely. But when I try and use them, I'm just never that pleased. You know, I never think they look very good, to be honest. So, yeah, let's kind of try like that. Okay. Okie dokie. Yeah, very nice colours in this um, atlas, aren't they? You know, really, really nice, I think. So, Okay, perhaps we'll have this one. Oh, perhaps I 
I'll just put it here like that. Okay. Oops. Actually, should move that down a little bit. Let me mop up my mess now where the um, glue has sept out, seeped out. Sept, seeped? Not sure, but anyway. Where, where glue has come out that it should not be. Let's just say that. Okay, might put this piece here, perhaps. Or maybe up there. Right, let's pop this one down like that. Oh, do you know, I thought I'd stuck that on upside down for a minute. Not that it probably matters, to be honest. You know, again, I see other people kind of use things any which way that it goes in. And, you know, it looks great. Sometimes I get myself a little bit too caught up in, oh, is it upright? Is it, you know, is it up the right way? And, you know, I should really just try and go with the flow more, you know, because I don't think it probably really matters. You know, because when you come to use it, you know, you might not even really notice which way up things are. I mean, like straight away this piece, you know, I'm putting it in sideways on. So clearly it's, you know, it's not a big deal, is it? If it's, um, if it's the right way or the wrong way. Right, that said, I've not put it down at all so far, so <laughs> it's no way at the moment. Just no way at all. Okay, right, let me just tear this little bit off here. I'm just going to have it down on this this edge down here at the bottom. Oh, can't help but prefer that colour. Oh, well. Okay. Oh, which way am I having it? Oh, yeah. Oh, for a moment. I couldn't remember which way I'd said. <laughs> oh, dear. It's getting towards lunchtime. Can you tell? Yeah, I've been doing a few videos. So um, that's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. I'm now kind of uh, getting a little bit vague. <laughs> a little bit vague. A little bit kind of dehydrated and things. So, uh, oh. I think that's probably a bit big, that piece of sheet music, to be honest. I should have probably torn it down and had it a bit smaller. I think it would have benefited from being much smaller, to be honest. But never mind. Let's have that piece up there, shall we? Okay. Okey-dokey and right. Oh, can you tell I'm putting off using those bits of vintage ephemera? I've bought them along really rigid thinking, oh, I'm going to use these, you know, going to be really brave, use some actual vintage pieces. And of course now what's happening, I don't want to use them. Being stingy and yeah, I don't want to actually use them which is just ridiculous, isn't it? You know, I've brought them along to use. I should just now get on really and just use them. Oh dear. <laughs> right. The question is where, where am I going to use these? So, you know, that's a genuine concern, isn't it? Right, maybe that one needs to go there. I mean, unfortunately, this is straight edges, which, like I say, I'm not the biggest fan of straight edges, but but it is a genuine piece, so that kind of makes up for the for the straight edges, I think. So, oh dear, what problems now with my glue? Oh, there we go, not now. Oops, now I have problems the other way with it just oozing out everywhere. Okay. There we go. Let's just smoosh that down. Right. 
So I've got coloured bits, coloured bits of um, vintage ephemera here as well, which I thought, oh, how exciting, you know, because we can use these coloured bits with the maps because they go really nicely with the map, don't they? So, yeah, let's kind of get some of those in. Got this vintage book page as well. I've got a little bit of, you know, variety of stuff going on. So perhaps we'll put this one here. Like that. Oh, actually, I might prefer it this way around. Right, okay. I mean, not that it really matters, to be honest, but sometimes you just get a sort of leaning, don't you, and a preference. Oh, gosh, now I've dripped glue on there. Oh, dear. Yeah, I will have to stop in a minute and go and have some uh, some refreshments. That's just how it gets sometimes, isn't it? You know, you kind of... One minute you're crafting along happily. The next minute you're just dehydrated and in need of, you know, refreshments. And my gosh, it really shows in your work. No, it maybe doesn't show in your work, but it really shows in mine. Yes. <laughs> Right, yep, we're gonna have this one here. I've got this pink as well, which, how gorgeous is this? Really lovely, isn't it? And then just need to fill in this section here, maybe with some big page or something, so let's just check. Yay, that looks good, doesn't it? I'm just going to tear this edge down so it's not got that straight edge. Okay. Yeah, so I hope that everybody's having a good day and doing some crafting. Let me know below, how do you get on with things like Atlas Page? Um, you know, what do you kind of find with it? Do you get on okay with it? Do you kind of not really use it have have you ever used it you know what's your favorite type of stuff to use oh dear oh dear let's go back up there suddenly noticed i had a big big great big gap along there yeah what what types of things do you guys like using best i've seen joey defee use um you know atlas page quite often so, yeah, and I always just really admire her style. It just always, you know, she's got a really different style to me, but it always looks really, really good. Um, you know, so even though I I can't seem to pull that off, I'm very attracted to her style. Um, you know, even though it's kind of worlds away from from mine, it's always very, very inspirational what she what she comes up with, I think. It's interesting, I find sometimes, you know, that the things that we like the best are not necessarily the things that we do the best, if that makes sense. So, you know, I mean, I love, love, love botanical and nature type journals and things. I mean, weirdly, they're not the types of things that I particularly do very much. Um, you know, <laughs> I'm always really kind of drawn to watching videos with things like that. So, yeah, I just find it quite strange that, you know, do you find that, that you often watch the things that actually you struggle to do? Or, you know, that they're not necessarily your natural kind of leaning. I definitely find that to be, you know, the case. Right. I'm wondering if we can have a little bit more pink, maybe over here. I'm just going to tear that down. Okay, and then I've got some more of this lovely blue. And then that's like opposite that. I mean, it doesn't really matter, to be honest, because obviously when this is cut down, you know, it's no longer really going to be anywhere in particular, is it? It's going to be just a mix all over. Um, yeah, perhaps I'll perhaps pop that down there. Um, it's just while it's in its masterboard state that 
it then sort of looks like, oh, I've got those like opposite to each other. It looks like I was trying to be symmetrical. And actually, once you get using them, you know, once you cut your pieces down, it's not really going to look symmetrical at all because obviously they're not going to be even on the same board, are they? You know, they're going to be different pieces. I mean, unless you were making them for like a cover. But even then, I mean, the chances are it's going to be folded round, isn't it? So it's not going to be kind of straight. Okie dokie. Yeah, I love um, probably the index pages. I love, um, ooh, what else? Yeah, contents pages and index pages. Those kinds of things. You know, like where you've got a slightly different format, like this, glossary. You know, they're just like a different format to just regular book text. You know, they just look really interesting, I think, and really nice. Okay, this one here, I'm thinking, should we tear this down? Just so it's not quite so big. And so it didn't have that straight line, cause, or straight edge, because I can't, can't lie. That was bothering me slightly because I've got lots of straight edges now where I've used this vintage ephemera. So I'm feeling quite, oh, you know, got a lot of straight edges going on on here. Too, too many, really, more than I would like. Yeah, too many for my liking, that's for sure. Okay, let's just spread that out. Okay. Oh, loving how this looks, actually. It's really nice. I mean, those colours have just come together wonderfully, like with the, um, you know, vintage ephemera pieces and then the uh, book page just kind of, you know, so then you've just got glimpses of the colour from the Atlas pages. They look really, really pretty, don't they? Okay, right, let's put that one to one side and I'll pull in the other one. So again, this is neutral on the back and we've just got this side now. So again, let's just start sort of filling it in oops oops I didn't notice that this was actually um you know what's the word <laughs> what is the word what am I trying to say had more going on no two pages it had two pages going on sorry it was that dehydration again right Let's just have that there in that corner. Okay. Yeah, I mean, this is like a vintage verse book. So again, you know, it's got that nice kind of format. It's not just, you know, regular old pages. It's got a nice kind of um, layout to it, which I just always think is, you know, is nice, isn't it? To use slightly irregular things. So this one, although this is straight, I'm not really too worried because I'm just going to put it here in the middle of the page. And then obviously whatever I glue down will cover up those straight edges. So I'm not kind of too, too worried. Okay, oops. Like that. Okay, let's bring in the Atlas page. Okay. How do you guys do collage? Do you always like have a formula where you start maybe in the corners and then kind of work your way off? Do you, you know, do you just go randomly? How do you guys do it? I mean, I watch lots of different people doing collage. Obviously, um, Gail, you know, she does lots of collage work and she's amazing at it. Um, Rachel at Roxy Creations, you know, watch her doing it. And again, you know, she really is incredible at doing it. Um, oh, I still can't decide. I'm going to go for this side. Um, oh, what was I saying? <laughs> yeah, watch lots of people doing the, the collage and everyone seems to have their own way of doing it. And I just wondered kind of how you guys find it easiest to do. I mean, I find myself very much just having, you know, no particular order, just going in quite randomly. Is that how you guys do it? And no particular, 
you know, it's not like one day is the same as the next. Although I guess, you know, it probably is a little bit more like that than I'm thinking. Yeah, I'm probably not as random as I as I like to think. Uh, okay, let's have this one down here, I think. Okay, might as well use the rest of this because then it's all used up and I've not got it lingering around anywhere. So, yeah, perhaps I'll just have it. Have I gone upside down with that? Yeah. And as I say, that probably doesn't really matter too much because when I come to use it, you know, I may then change the direction of it. But, yeah, I probably should make a bit more effort to try and have it the right way up, I suppose. Okay. Yeah, I'm really trying my best to be a bit more free with my collage. Um, you know, but, I mean, again, it's just one of those things that... It takes a lot of practice and I'm not by any way trying to say that I've got the hang of it or, oh, I'm an expert or anything like that. No, I'm quite the opposite trying to say, you know, I'm still very much practicing and learning. Um, and just wondered, yeah, what, what do you guys find? You know, do you have a kind of definite way that you tend to do it or do you just kind of randomly just ad hoc glue things down? And if you do have a way that you find is fantastic, you know, and always works, what's your secret? You know, what, what is your technique that's, um, you know, the formula that you really like to do? Okay, right. Let's put a bit of sheet music down. I'll just pop the glue straight on here. And the other thing that I notice is very much, um, you know, that Gail and Rachel and everybody, they use literally a whole bunch of different papers. You know, they very much kind of really mix things up and it looks incredible. Now, I'm still very boring and find myself using, you know, a combination of, say, like five or six different paper types. I don't then tend to kind of mix and integrate kind of all different colours and, and paper types. Um, you know, so definitely, yeah, I'm still kind of, I guess, gaining confidence and, you know, picking up kind of ways to do it. But, you know, that's really hard, I think, to just go in, you know, completely random because, I mean, again, that goes against the grain because that's not matchy-matchy at all, is it? It's very unmatchy-matchy. So, um yeah but it always looks incredible you know I need to be much braver at just mixing up things I mean even like this you know I'm using the atlas page but I've still then thought oh I'm going to team it with those vintage pieces of ephemera which are basically same colors you know they're containing the same colors so you know although I've felt like oh I'm I'm being really brave you know I'm mixing it in not really because I'm just mixing it in with ephemera that's effectively the same sort of shades and color so yeah not really being very adventurous at all right let's just glue this one down here okie dokie Oh dear. Nearly dropped that and lost it everywhere. Okay. And make sure that stays on there in some way, shape or form. Ah, come on. Come on, come on.
Oh my goodness, look what I've just done now. Just clean, oops, clean ripped that off. And now I'm tearing it even more. Oh dear. <laughs> right, I'm just going to try and fill that in. Again, something else that, you know, I never see anyone else doing. These kinds of little bodgy things, but never mind. Right, I mean, once I've cut this down and things, you know, stuff like that's not going to notice, I hope. Yeah, it's not going to notice, to be honest. Right, is this going to fit in this corner? Mm, not quite. Oh, well, that does, but I would just need to put something else down as well. That's fine. Okie dokie. Right, oops, I've got more pink ephemera up here, haven't I? So, yeah, let's pull that in. Let's take this blue off. Oh, that's a shame, it's properly stuck on there. Look, I can't really get that off. Oh, that's a shame, isn't it? Let's just tear it down here. this violin book I do love these pages I must admit they are really really nice pages really nice they're lovely thick texture too so yeah which often in vintage books you know the pages can be very flimsy can't they so it's quite unusual to get something you know that's really nice and thick let's just tear that down Trying to get rid of a little bit of the straight edges. Okay. Right, now I'm not sure whether I've really got enough here to be able to tear this down. I might come unstuck here. Oh, I have done now, look. Did you see how much I tore off there? Ah, that's so annoying, isn't it? Right, I've got this side. Okay. Uh, why didn't I just tear this one down in the first place? That's, that would have been the more sensible thing, wouldn't it? Okay, right. Okay, crisis, crisis over. I must say I'm really, really loving these colours together. They look absolutely gorgeous, don't they? Very, very, very nice. Very nice. Right, I might have to just tear this edge down again. I just, I really don't like these straight edges. And that's another thing is I do notice that, you know, pretty much everybody else does the straight edges and it looks amazing, amazing. Now, why on earth... <laughs> why can't I do straight edges I just it's very baffling you know very baffling when you look at other people's things and the exact things that they're doing you know you don't like when you do that's just very strange isn't it very very strange right okay Oh, look at what I've done again. What is wrong with me? What is wrong with me? Oh my goodness. Just piece that piece in again, right? Let's just spread this out. Ah. Diabolical, diabolical that was. Right, should we have this piece here? Yeah. it down a little bit so it's not quite so big okay Oops, that blue flicked around I don't know where it flicked I can't really see oh, well. hmm. a little bit there okay let's put that piece there okie dokie 
then just spread that out with the glue a little bit. Okay, right. Bring this down. Now, what other pieces have I got? So I've got some more of that lovely green. Love these bits that they used to kind of attach to the invoices and things. So I think this one's actually been pinned or stapled. Oh, it's got one of those vintage pins. I love those. Love those. Right. Can you see? Isn't that gorgeous? Absolutely gorgeous. Right. So I'm thinking perhaps just go for... Yeah, maybe go for this piece here. So. Or maybe even this side. Let's just have a look. Okay, can't stand this um, straight edge, so I'm going to have to just tear that down. Okay, and again, I just can't stand this straight edge either, so just tear that one down as well. Okie dokie. Right, let's glue this one on. Okay. Like that. Okay, right. We are now getting somewhere nearly done. Nearly, nearly, nearly. Okay, and then I'm going to just have this piece here like that, I think. Actually, I might just have it on its side. Okay. Right. Pop that on there. Looking good. Looking good. Right. And then I just need to take one more little tiny weeny piece or teeny weeny piece and just fill it in there. So let's just pull something in. Oh, look, just got a slither of book page. That will do. Just pop that there. Okay. Yay! Right. Okay. So we've popped that one down. Now I'm just going to trim up around the edges because, you know, I always say this, but really, you know, your piece doesn't look like a cohesive piece until you've kind of, you know, cut it down and, you know, tidied it up. And then it all just as if by magic kind of looks like it takes on the, the look of a, you know, complete piece. I mean, until that point, I just always think it looks, you know, pretty rubbish. Because, of course, it just looks like a bunch of paper that's all just stuck down, you know, higgledy-piggledy. Once you cut it down, it kind of has that look of like a joined-up piece of paper, doesn't it? So, there we go. And then just along here. Okie dokie. And then here. And then when we turn it over, hopefully you'll see what I mean. You know, it's now just got the look of a complete sort of page. You know, it looks more like a piece of 12 by 12 paper, doesn't it? You know, that's just been bought like that. So that's that one. And then let's just quickly trim down the other one. Oops. Obviously, this one's very soggy. That's okay. Okay, and then this. Okay, and then just just the last edge here. There we go. Oh, aren't they just lovely? Oops, it was that way up, wasn't it, really? 
So they're just lovely, aren't they? I mean, they're both very, very similar, obviously, but, you know, they're both really, really nice, aren't they? So, yeah, I'm going to obviously leave them to dry and, um, you know, I will come back obviously once they're dry and we'll have a bit of a play and, you know, see what we can do with them. Um, I need to give it some thought myself quickly, you know, what, what, what to do with them, how to use them. Um, but, yeah, I hope that you like them and uh, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys soon. Thanks then. Bye.